This is a grade 7 lesson on parallel lines cut by a transversal. First, let's define some important keywords. Number one, complementary angles. They are two angles whose measures add up to 90 degrees. So here, we have two angles, angle A and angle B. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 90 degrees. So angle A and angle B are complementary angles. Number two, supplementary angles. They are two angles whose measures add up to 180 degrees. Here we have two angles, angle A and angle B. The measure of angle A plus measure of angle B equals 180 degrees. So the two angles are supplementary. Number three, congruent angles. So congruent angles are angles that have the same measure. Here we have angle A is congruent to angle B. Number four, vertical angles. So angles that are opposite each other when two lines intersect. So we have here, this is angle A, angle B, and they are vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent. So angle A is congruent to angle B. Number five, adjacent angles. So they are two angles that have a common side and a common vertex. So we have here two lines intersecting each other. So angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. So these two angles. And also angle B and angle theta are adjacent angles. Number six, linear pairs. So they are adjacent angles whose non-adjacent sides form a line. So we have here two lines intersecting each other. We have here angle A and angle B. So they form a linear pair. So this means measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 180 degrees. Number seven, parallel lines. So they are lines that do not meet or intersect at any point on the plane. Here we have two lines, line L and line M. So lines L and M are parallel lines. Number eight, perpendicular lines. Lines that intersect each other at 90 degree angles. So we have here line L and line M are perpendicular lines. Now let's have some problem about parallel lines cut by a transversal. So we have two parallel lines here, line L and line M, cut by transversal T. And the angles are named 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now let's identify the exterior angles. So what are the exterior angles here? So the exterior angles are angle 1, angle 2, angle 7, and angle 8. So they are outside. How about interior angles? The interior angles are angle 3, angle 4, angle 5, and angle 6. How about vertical angles? So we have many vertical angles here. So we have 1 and 4, 5 and 8, 2 and 3, and 6 and 7. And let's take note that vertical angles are congruent. How about linear pairs? What are the linear pairs here? So we have many. The first one is angle 1 and angle 2. Also, angle 3 and angle 4. Then we have angle 5 and angle 6. 
angle 7 and angle 8. We also have angle 1 and angle 3, angle 2 and angle 4, angle 5 and angle 7, and angle 6 and angle 8. Let us be reminded that linear pairs are supplementary. How about adjacent angles? We have also many adjacent angles here. We have 1 and 2, 3 and 4, 1 and 3, 2 and 4, and also 5 and 6, 7 and 8, 5 and 7, and 6 and 8. Let's remember that adjacent angles here are supplementary. How about alternate exterior angles? So the exterior angles here are 1, 2, 7, and 8. So what are the alternate exterior angles? They are 1 and 8, and also 2 and 7. And let us remember that alternate exterior angles are congruent. How about alternate interior angles? We have four interior angles here. Angles 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the alternate interior angles are angles 3 and 6 and angles 4 and 5. And let's remember that alternate interior angles are congruent. How about exterior angles on the same side of the transversal? Again, our exterior angles here are angles 1, 2, 7, and 8. And the exterior angles on the same side of the transversal, we have 1 and 7, and 2 and 8. Let's remember that exterior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. How about interior angles on the same side of the transversal? Again, the interior angles here are angles 3, 4, 5, and 6. So the interior angles on the same side of the transversal are 3 and 5 and 4 and 6. And let's remember that interior angles on the same side of the transversal are supplementary. How about corresponding angles? The first corresponding angles we have here are angles 1 and 5, also 3 and 7, then 2 and 6, and 4 and 8. So let's remember that corresponding angles are congruent. Now, problem number 2. Find the measure of each angle. So we have here angles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now angle 1 is equal to 3x plus 10, while angle 2 is equal to x minus 2. So what are the measures of these 8 angles we have? First, we are going to solve for the measure of angle 1. So we know that angle 1 and angle 2 form a linear pair. That means angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180 degrees. So that's 3x plus 10, that is angle 1, and then plus x minus 2, that's angle 2, that is equal to 180. So we can combine like terms, so 3x and x is 4x, and 10 minus 2 is 8. So we have 4x plus 8 equals 180. So subtracting 8 from both sides, we have 4x equals 172. To solve 4x, we divide both sides by 4. So 172 divided by 4 is 43. So this means this x here is 43. So let's substitute 43 into the x in this expression. So that means we have angle 1 equals 3 times 43 plus 
10. So 3 times 43 plus 10 equals 139 degrees. So angle 1 is 139 degrees. What are the other angles here that measure 139 degrees? So we have angle 4 because they are vertical angles. Then angle 5 because angle 1 and angle 5 are corresponding angles. And also angle 8 because they are alternate exterior angles. Now how about angle 2? So since x is 43, we can substitute 43 into x in this equation. So angle 2 equals 43 minus 2 and 43 minus 2 equals 41. And the other angles that measure 41 degrees are angle 3, angle 6, and angle 7. So angle 2 and angle 3 are vertical angles, so they are congruent. Angle 2 and angle 6 are corresponding angles, so they are also congruent. Angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate exterior angles, so they are also congruent. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Teacher Reggio. Keep safe.